Hello and welcome back to Bunkers and Badasses. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Commando class. The Commando is an ex-military who racked up a high body count during their days in the service. When they need to deal extra damage, they drop their saber turret into the fray to get things done. They are a one-person wrecking crew. This one is very close to the Axton character in Borderlands. Uh, on the surface, it looks a lot like the Soldier, which is like Roland in the Borderlands games. Really, when it comes down to it, like you got a turret, it's at your side. You're kind of an ex-military type of thing. But when you start digging into like the skill trees and the backgrounds, that's where things start to seem a little bit different. Now, as I mentioned, major component of this is the Saber turret. So you get to like toss this out for like, two turns and it basically just blasts a bunch of damage doing a die eight per hit, and it's got 40 armor, basically lasts until it's gone. The backgrounds tend to focus in on damage and speed, and a little bit on accuracy or mastery, but for the most part, this is a damage class. And that's backed up by when you start taking a look at their tier skills. Everything is about how can you go faster, how can you have more accuracy, how do you do more damage? This is very much a solo type of character. So if you like the idea of a character that is kind of ex-military, that soldier type, you might be looking at either the soldier class or this commando class. The soldier class will tend to be more of helping everybody in the group, kind of a leader, a little bit of medic. This one focused on one job, getting damage done. Now what that also means is that when you go and look at archetypes, you might be looking at maybe the Deadite archetype where you can focus on accuracy and damage and trying to do a lot focused just on what you're doing. You could also try to offset what you don't get from the soldier class and pick up the guardian class, which has a little bit of that healing aspect. So depending on what kind of role you want to play in the group. Next time, we'll take a look at the Gunzerker.